transistor as automatic switch so transistor can be used as automatic switch the transistor is off when the collector current is off and very small and is switched on when the collector currents become very large uh, I will show you later uh, to switch a transistor on the base voltage and the base current have to exceed a certain minimum value and therefore the transistor can be switched on and off by varying the voltage applied to the base and this is done by the potential divider now uh, what does this mean eh? what does this mean let's say we have a transistor okay and uh, the collector is connected to a bulb okay say this is control the variable resistor currents okay now let's say the bulb will light up when the current is 2 ampere or more okay less than 2 ampere it will be very dim okay if uh, less than 1 ampere then you can see the light so preferably there's a uh, 2 ampere pass through here okay but the current the current in the collector is controlled by the base right Okay, current is a base. If this is zero, this will be zero. Right? Okay, if this is zero point one, then this may be two ampere. Okay, so you see, we use the base to the base here to control the currents in the collector, and therefore control the brightness of the bulb. Okay, so small currents here, small currents change. Right? We produce a large change in the collector here. That is the idea. Okay, that's the idea. But this is not the automatic switch circuit okay automatic switch circuit is different from this automatic switch circuits the current is controlled by potential divider okay the current is not controlled by the real state it's controlled by the potential divider so uh, we will discuss how the potential divider control the current later okay so for the time being you just need to know that uh, small currents in base will produce a large current in collector and then it will light up the bulb okay. potential divider now what does it mean by potential divider okay uh, let's say in this circuit this is a series circuit eh? okay and the emf is 12 volt eh? emf is 12 volt let's say if r1 r1 is uh, 1 ohm okay 1 ohm and r2 is uh, 2 ohm okay 2 ohm eh? so according to this uh, potential divider okay this two resistor it will share this 12 volt if these two are in series, uh, if in series, then these two resistors will share this 12 volt. But how they share? How they share? Okay, they share according to the resistance. Higher resistance, higher voltage. Uh, okay. So in this case, a uh, 12 volt share by 3 ohm. Uh, 1 ohm plus 2 ohm. 12 volt share by 3 ohm. So 12 volt share by 3 ohm. Okay. So uh, each ohm will get forward, right? Four ohm, forward per ohm. Eh? Okay. So the voltage eh, across AB, okay, just one ohm. Eh? Okay. Voltage across AB will be forward, forward. Okay. Because forward for one ohm. Eh? So this one ohm, it will get forward. Okay. Uh, and then it's two ohm, two ohm. Okay. One ohm get forward. Two ohm get how many wood? Eight wood. That's correct. Okay, eight volt. Eh? So you see, this twelve volt is shared by these two resistors, and they share according to their resistance. Higher resistance, higher voltage that you get. Eh? Lower resistance, lower voltage. Uh, so this is called potential divider. These two resistors divide this potential. Okay. Let me give you one question. Let's say we have a circuit and um, twenty four volt. And then connect it to a resistors of 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, okay? So can you please tell me what's the voltage by using this uh, potential divider, okay? So what's the voltage of uh, this 1 ohm resistor? 4 volt, okay? 4 volt, eh? Why? Because totally we have 6 ohm, right? Totally 6 ohm, eh? So 24 volt. 24 volt share by 6 ohm eh? so this is goes to 4 volt per ohm per 1 ohm eh? okay 4 volt per 1 ohm so 1 ohm 4 volt 2 ohm how many volt 8 volt that's correct 8 volt eh? 
So 3 ohm, 3 ohm, how many volt? 12 volt, okay. So all together 24, all together 24. So you see, these three resistors share this 24 volt according to the magnitude of the resistance. Higher resistance, higher voltage, uh, lower resistance, lower voltage. So, and then actually we can calculate that one, 1 ohm, 4 volt, 2 ohm, 8 volt, 3 ohm, 12 volt. Okay, so this is called a potential divider. Okay, uh, so the formula is like this. Okay, V1 equals to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times the EMF. Uh, okay, so R1, uh, let's say this is 1 ohm. Okay, so it's 1 ohm divided by total R1 plus R2, 3. Uh, okay, totally 3 ohm. So 1 ohm divided by 3 and then uh, multiply by the EMF 12 volt and then you get uh, 4 volt. Okay, and for this one, for this one, uh, 2 ohm divided by 1 plus 2 uh, and then times 12. That is uh, 2 over 3 times 12 and this is equal to 8 volt. So we use this to calculate the voltage, yeah? voltage uh, by using the uh, pot concept of potential divider. Uh, so this is potential divider. So this one, okay, so readings of V1, readings of V1 is equal to 2 ohm divided by 3 times 12, uh, okay, so equals to 8 volt. And readings of V2 is 1 ohm divided by total 3 ohm multiplied by 12 volt, and you get uh, 4 volt. Let's see light operating switch, uh, okay. Now, light operating switch, uh, we have an LDR, light dependent resistor. Uh, light dependent resistor. Let's go back to the light dependent resistor. Okay, just now I think I have skipped. So the potential divider contains a light dependent resistor or a photoresistor. Okay. Now, for this light dependent resistor, its resistance will change according to the presence of light. Uh, for example, in darkness, there's no light, totally no light. The resistance of uh, this resistor is about 1 million ohm. Mega is million, eh? okay? So it's 1 million ohm. If there's no light, 1 million ohm. But if light is present around this resistor, okay, the resistance of this LDR will fall to just a few hundred ohm. From 1 million, it will drop to a few hundreds, let's say 500. So the resistance of this resistor depends on the light. A uh, dark place, resistance is very high, eh? okay? And bright place, the resistance is very low, okay? And you must remember this eh? for you to understand the light uh, dependent, res uh, light dependence uh, resistor or the automatic switch eh? to switch on the light. 